Tribeman Soccer met CA lone unbeaten Hofstra in a clash between two of the hottest teams in the league on Saturday night. I thought our performance was great tonight. Um, I think our attitude was right from the beginning. We got on top of them. We created a lot of chances. Um, you know, I think we could have been a little bit more clinical, but we were good defensively. They present some problems with their direct style of play, and I thought we did a really good job dealing with it. William & Mary controlled the action from the outset and broke through in the 28th minute thanks to Marcel Berry. The Tribe Junior followed up his own saved shot, heading the rebound through the goalkeeper's five hole for his first goal of the season. Marcel is capable when he gets going on a run like that um, of just kind of gliding past defenders. And, you know, it's the first time this year that he's really gotten to that kind of spot and had a real good chance. And, and uh, you know, I'm sure he'd, he would have liked to have scored the first one, but he did a good job to, to uh, frame the goal and get the rebound. The Tribe attempted 14 of its season-high 22 shots in the second half and junior Antonio Bustamante doubled the green and gold's lead with a beautiful chip of the Hofstra goalkeeper from 18 yards out on a through ball from Ryder Bell in the 65th minute. I mean, they opened up a little bit more, I thought, in the second half, um, and we did a really good job of countering against them, apart from maybe scoring another goal or two. Uh, the, the goal that we scored, obviously, was fantastic. Ryder coming inside and slipping Antonio in behind the defense. You know, Antonio is exceptional in those situations very composed um you know I don't, there's nobody else on the team that i would would want to even attempt the type of finish that that he did but he does that every day in training or every other day in training and uh so you know it was a heck of a goal william and mary picked up its second straight shutout and ran its win streak to three matches with the victory over the pride you always want to be playing your best soccer as you're coming to the end of the year <clears throat> and uh you know, these with the 0-2 the and 2 starting the league, these three games were critical. It was, um, you know, really important to pick up maximum points if possible. And, and we're just happy that we've put ourselves in a good position in the league, that we're, we're playing good soccer, we feel good about things and are confident and, uh, you know, have some good games coming up. The Tribe welcomes ACC foe Virginia Tech on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. in its regular season home finale. The contest will be televised locally on Cox. Visit tribeathletics.com for complete details. Look, it, it, you know, I don't think that we have to do a lot in terms of motivating the players. Anytime that we have an opportunity to get an ACC team here at home and, uh, you know, Virginia Tech's having a really good season. They're ranked and, and are in the top 25 in the RPI. So it's a good opportunity for us, obviously. It's an in-state rival. Um, so I think, you know, it, it sets up well for us.